Um, good morning. We have now an interview with one of the Chinese language interpreters of this event. Hello. Hello. Can you introduce yourself? Yes, hello. My name is Lisa Zeviar. And from which country are you? I'm originally Canadian, but I now live in the Netherlands. Okay. And um, in which language do you sign at this conference? At this conference, we're using international sign. Okay. And um, is your client uh, deaf or hard of hearing or deaf blind? Or are you working here for live streaming? Uh, today, we're here for live streaming, and we also have participants that are usually uh, deaf. Yeah. At this event we have also pick to text on different screens and can you say something about the cooperation with the speak to text interpreter and you are sign language interpreter? Yes, as a sign language interpreter, we love working with speech-to-text monitors uh, because when we're working, we also have a team that can feed us, but sometimes with people's names and numbers, uh, it's very nice to have it in text right in front of you. So I, I, it's something that we like to work with all the time. Ah, okay. And uh, what do you think about the quality of the speak-to-text at this event? At this event, we have the best here. We have Vim, so uh, the, uh, the quality is very good. But also the setup of the monitor in front of the sign language interpreters has been set up, uh, as well as people in the audience can have their own uh, tablet. So I think that's nice for such a large audience that they can ex experience either their own tablet or a monitor in front of them. Yes. Do you have some suggestions for the speak-to-text interpreter, how he or she can work in in the future or do you have some tips? I think what's important is that all that the producers know that they are using or the stage set up people, technicians know that it's there in advance. Sometimes I go to an event and there is speech to text available but only on the screen for the audience but not for the interpreter so we don't have our own monitor. Uh, so if they could help in relaying that information as well, that could only help that we would be able to benefit their hard work. Okay. And uh, do you also use at home when you look to the television also subtitling or sign language? on television? Personally, I love using uh, speech-to-text or subtitling um, because I'm a very visual person, and but I like to know every single word, so if I miss a word or if there's background information that they don't, you can't always hear, but you can read it, I really enjoy that personally. Um, and I think in general, speech-to-text should be available at all EU conferences or events because not only deaf or hard of hearing people use it, but people that English is not their first language rely on it as well. So I think it's an invaluable part of a conference setup. Okay, thank you very much for that interview and have a very nice meeting today and could stay in Brussels. Thank you. Thank you.